My name is Kristen Reichert. I'm an assistant professor at Johns Hopkins and co-director of the Johns Hopkins Adherence Research Center. And we do um, research in CF on psychosocial issues, but primarily on regimen adherence, so following the prescribed treatment plan, how that affects health outcomes, and doing interventions to try and help families stick to the regimen a little better. Adherence is so important because we know that it's very tough to stick to a regimen 100% of the time. And we know most people probably do about 50 to 60% of, of their, their prescribed treatments. And some recent um, data that we have out of the Adherence Research Center shows that the less adherent you are to your meds, the more likely you are to have an exacerbation in that same year. And there's a trend to show a relationship with lung function. And this was on a very small sample size. So we think actually there's a pretty strong association between how adherent you are and then your health outcomes. And obviously our goal is to to keep our families as healthy as possible. The eye care study is an adherence research promotion trial that's built on the premise that a lot of clinicians don't know what their patients are doing once they get home. Patients will say, I sometimes miss med medications, but we don't know what sometimes means. And I think often when I show clinicians adherence data that we collect more objectively through pharmacy refills, they're shocked by how little the patient is doing. And it changes how you might provide care and how you might provide supports to, to a patient um, in their clinic. So the goal of the eye care study is to really build awareness and then help give the clinician some skills to actually intervene when non-adherence is provided. One of the best ways to improve adherence is to just pay attention to it. I think care teams don't often know when their patients are, how their patients are managing their illness at home, and patients aren't always comfortable disclosing that. So making a relationship where that dialogue can be there and talking about what they are able to do and what they're not able to do is one of the biggest things care teams can do to help families. And families should be comfortable telling care teams when they, they can't fit everything in and talking with them about what's the most important to get in and, and what might be able to slide if it's just too busy a day. The most exciting thing going on in the field of CF right now, wow, there's so many things. I think for me as a, a mental health professional, the degree to which the CF community is embracing psych the importance of the psychosocial issues for health outcomes, recognizing that depression can negatively impact health outcomes, recognizing that they want training um, in terms of adherence promotion. The whole quality improvement initiative is a psychologist's dream. There aren't too many illnesses where the medical community has really embraced these important issues. And I think CF is in the forefront of it, and it's very exciting to be part of that.